Hello, fourth graders. Today we are going to be doing some more work with measuring angles and a little work with drawing angles. But before we get into that, I wanted to just review this idea of inner scale and outer scale. Um, when I was working with some students on Friday during the small group sessions, um, or the small group session, it, it was apparent that maybe I needed to do a little um, follow up on this. So when we're thinking about inner scale and outer scale, one of the things that was helping um, the group that I was working with was to think about this uh, protractor as almost like a rainbow, okay? So you know how rainbows, the first color is red, and then we have orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, right? We're just gonna deal with the red and the orange. So if from the center point, Okay, there's the center point, yellow. From the center point, <clears throat> the inner scale is going to be orange. It's closest, it's on the inside to the yellow dot. And the red is the outer scale. Okay, it's outside, oops, outside the, um, the inner scale. So that color coding really helped um, some students to see, okay, inner scale, those numbers going around in the orange are part of the inner scale, and the numbers in the red are the outer scale. So that might be a tip that helps some of you. In fact, with some of the students I was working with, we even said, get a red and an orange crayon and just color code your um, protractor uh, on the on your work so that you can see okay am I using inner or outer and then just a reminder how do you know if you're using inner or outer well if you look at the ray that's drawn and lined up with the baseline um, if it passes through zero on the where's my pointer there we go if it passes through zero on the outer scale you're going to use the outer scale to measure that angle. 